this time next year, are we going to be right here in this spot and you're going to be celebrating Arsenal's Premier League title? Hopefully, man, hopefully. It needs to come because I wouldn't call this year heartbreak. I didn't really, I didn't really expect West Ham to do anything today, but... You know, just that emotional roller coaster of being in the stadium, people are making up fake rumours about 2-2 two, two, and then like, you're thinking, oh my God, it could actually happen. Like, I feel like the team, obviously we've done great this season, but it's just we're competing with the most dominant team this country has ever seen and the greatest manager of all time, no debate. Every year we are getting closer. Last season we were ahead of schedule, that's fine, we adjusted. We, you know, we shouldn't have lost the lead, but we did. I'm not going to use another word. We shouldn't have lost the league, but we did. This year round, you know, they said, oh, if you don't do anything last season, forget it. You're not going to be challenging for a while. And we were back again and stronger than ever. You know, obviously, when you look back at, it was silly games really, isn't it? Like either the Fulham results or the West Ham one or, or both Villa games, especially the second half, the first half of the Villa game. You score the goals you need to score there and we're out here celebrating and I've got no top on and I'm, and I'm doing the belly dance, you know. It's small margins when it comes to winning the Premier League, especially with probably the greatest side that the Premier League has ever seen. You know, yes, there's questions on um, the legal part of their victories. Everyone's mentioned that this afternoon. Yes, there's questions. You know, I'm about to start a law degree. Uh, and once I do and I get my glasses on, we're going to review the, 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 you know, the documents. But besides that, I have to give City credit, especially players like Phil Foden, you know, uh, to come in a City team and do it as, for as long as he has done so and to, to do what he's done this season. You know, that's, that's 30 plus goals and assist contributions, man. He's been the standout player, even though you've got players like De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Rodri, uh, Haaland, of course. But he really, really made the difference. So shout out to City, four in a row, Pep Guardiola the best coach that is probably I've ever seen in my eyes uh, but Arsenal will be back massive shout out to all the players you guys have made us all proud love you all peace do you know what I was going to have another question for you there but you covered about four or five topics and took all of the questions out of my head Talk so you, uh, Champions League and the double next year Joe or not Champions League listen we will have more experience that's for sure that's for sure I think this year we did show that there's a few elements missing. And then that, that brings me to say, you know, maybe we need to strengthen in some areas. Maybe we, you know, left back, we've got timber back, so maybe we don't need to do... Do you something. think that could be like someone like Zinchenko leaving or Kivior? Who knows? For me, I'm all about what makes a team stronger and what's good team spirit. If there's good team spirit, then no one has to go anywhere. But if we need to move some players along to improve, then why not? We need to see a good understudy for Saka. He doesn't need to be young. It could be an experienced player, which is going to be hard to find. But we need an understudy. I say understudy, but someone to be there when Saka isn't there, where we're 100% confident. And up top, Isak, if you're around and you like North London, my friend, there's a place for you and we'll be happy to receive you. I think Joel's going to be a bit of a tour guide as well. If he's like wants to know the area, Joel's probably going to show him around as well. You can join me if you want, mate. You know, as long as we get him in a shirt, that would be great to see. It's about time someone else won it, you know? Like, but yeah, man, just we've got to, we've got to go again next season. But I'm, I, I have, I've got to be proud of the team, like, especially like someone like Mikel Arteta. Um, like, what he's done with this club, like, we was in the mud. Like, three, four years ago, yeah. They talk about a title, we couldn't even get into the top six. We failed to get into Europe for the first time in about 20 years and he's come and he, like, we fought until that last day, you know. We fought until the last... It's even like the vibe around the club as well. Like, every, people, like Man City have just won the Premier League title and everyone's out here smiling. Like, it shows how far Arsenal have come through that toxic period that you had a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah to be honest, I don't know about... I, I don't think people should be smiling because, to be honest, I'm gutted. I am gutted. If, if I'm being honest, I'm, I am gutted and... Second, second is not, it's not success, so obviously I want to win, but it's understandable why. The, first of all, the connection with the club and the fans is fully back, like, the, like, the fans, because the, the, we know where we came from, you know, and it's like, it's not like last season where we fully bottled it, we did. Like, I'm an Arsenal fan, I love this club, I'll defend it till the end, but the fact of the matter is last season we bottled it. This season, we went till the last minute, you know, and it's like... We know what we're up against. Like, it's not like 
we're two, we're like two points, two points, and it's like we know we have a young team, we know we have a young manager, and Pep said it. Pep said Arsenal will be back. Like we know, like one thing you know for sure, we're gonna be back. And I genuinely believe if he leaves at the end of his contract in 2025, I think we could dominate. I genuinely believe if Pep leaves in 2025. We will dominate. For f we could do what they've done. We can do a four in a row. Because when you look at United, not good enough. Chelsea just about got into the Europa League. Tottenham's Tottenham. Do I even need to speak about Tottenham? <laughs> Tottenham's Tottenham. So I'm telling you, like, once this guy leaves, we're going to dominate this league. And we're here to stay. Come on, you gunners! On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.